The story begins with a fire elemental couple who has run away from their home to try their luck in the esteemed Element City, hopeful of building a life there. When the admissions officer struggles to spell their name, he decides to go with Bernie and Cinder and approves their entry into the city. As they stepped inside, they were taken aback by the vibrant and wonderful Element City. They later arrived at the Garden District, but the landlords refused, fearing that they would burn the whole place down. After walking around the city for a day, they come to an abandoned building, which Bernie claims will be their new home. Later, Cinder gave birth to a bright baby girl named Ember. Bernie has worked hard to fix their new home to make it a safe place for his family. Together, they built a shop called The Fireplace from Scratch, where Bernie explains that Ember will inherit once she is ready. Eventually, more fire people frequented the shop, which later became Firetown. Ember struggles to control her temper, especially when handling customers that are difficult, and she keeps blowing up the shop every time. When Ember finally beats her father's time doing deliveries, Bernie thinks it is about time Ember handles the shop by herself on their annual Red Dot sale. Ember reassures him that she will not let him down. The next day, Ember woke early to prepare the shop. Everything went well at first, but when it started to get rowdy, Ember struggled to keep her temper down and was about to blow up. She ran downstairs to blow off steam when the pipes began creaking, suddenly. The pipes burst open and the water spurted out. Ember sealed the hole but discovered that their basement was flooded. Out of nowhere, Wade Ripple, a water elemental, emerges from the water crying when he sees a family picture of Ember. Wade explains that he was searching for a leak on the other side of the river when he suddenly got sucked in and found himself in their basement. He says he may need to write them a ticket revealing himself as a city inspector, claiming they may need to shut down the whole place. Ember tries to take Wade's notes, but he dodges and runs away. Ember gives chase trying to stop him from reaching City Hall. When she failed to stop him, Ember talks to herself, worried that if her father found out she was the reason they got shut down, Wade overhears and feels sorry for her, so he offers to take her to processing to plea her case. Wade tells Ember to tell Fern from processing her story, but she blows up in embarrassment when Wade starts talking about it. Fern doesn't think twice about sending the ticket after what happened to his office, and tells Ember to expect the shop to shut down in a week. When she returns home, she found the shop closed while her parents fixed the leaking pipes. Cinder reassures him that they will get through this like they used to. When Ember asks what she meant, her mother tells her why they left Fireland. Before everything, the people there had a blue flame that connected them to one another and their traditions. Everything went well until the day a great storm came. Everyone lost so much on that day. Bernie realized that they had to leave Fireland to create a better life for themselves, especially when Cinder was pregnant with Ember. The next day, Ember goes into the city to talk to Wade's boss. Wade claims that Gail won't be in today because she is at the stadium rooting for her favorite team, the Windbreakers. Ember goes with Wade to the stadium to talk to Gail in person. She tries to explain the situation, but Gail seems distracted and claims she doesn't want to discuss work with a game going. They later argue when Gail calls Ember a fireball, and Ember ridicules the players as being cloud puffs. Wade interrupts their argument when the Windbreakers are losing because of Lutz's poor performance. Wade steps up when the crowd starts booing and leads everyone to cheer for Lutz. Seeing the people cheer for him, Lutz got his game going and scored the winning point. After watching an incredible comeback, Gail was in such a good mood that she agreed to Wade's suggestion. Wade plans to track the source of the leak from Ember's house and call the city crew to fix the leak before Friday. To track down the source of the leak, they quickly head to the roof of Ember's house where she fashions a hot air balloon so they can search from above. They later find puddles of water in the canal and follow them back to a gate. While drifting in the sky, Ember gets a flashback when she sees Garden Central Station. When she was a kid, her father took her there to see Vivisteria, a unique flower said to thrive in any environment. She had always wanted to see one and was so excited when a guard stopped them, claiming their fire was too dangerous and wouldn't let them in. Years later, the station flooded and Ember missed her only chance of seeing a Vivisterian. They finally arrive at the source and find the doors are broken. Wade explains this would catch spillovers from the central canal when a boat passes. Suddenly, a ship passes by and water floods the area. 
They quickly ran to safety, but when she realized that the water would spill back to Firetown, she sprung to action. She used sandbags to seal the hole. Wade claims it will hold long enough for him to get a city crew to fix it before Friday. With the predicament solved, Wade asks Ember if she wants to go on a date in the city tomorrow. The next day, Ember decided to show up on their date. They started the day with movies and a photo booth. They later go to the top of a building where Ember impresses the kids with her abilities. Eventually, Ember manages to control her temper whenever she thought of Wade. They have seen each other ever since. When they thought it couldn't get worse, the sandbags broke down and a pipe burst open in the fireplace. Bernie and Ember try to save the blue flame when a delivery man suddenly shows up with flowers for Ember. She immediately noticed Wade was disguised as the water in the vase, so she quickly ran downstairs with the flowers. Wade explains that the sandbags didn't hold and that the city crew is still mad at Wade because he accidentally trapped them in cement the last time. Suddenly, Bernie walks in on them and finds Wade with Ember, to which Wade claims he's a food inspector. To keep up with the facade, Wade was forced to eat coal nuts, which were painful for a water guy like him. He later realized that it was delicious if he tried to water it down, which only angered Bernie as he took the metaphor seriously as if they were watering them down. Bernie chased Wade out of the shop and banned him from the shop. Later, Ember and Wade meet at the beach to make more sandbags. Wade later notices that Ember's flames melted the sand into glass. Suddenly, Ember had a brilliant idea of using glass to seal the hole. When it held out, Wade claims she would check with Gale if this suffices. That night, Bernie tells Ember that he's lucky to have her. Ember is so worried about their shop's future that she meets with Wade to hear Gale's decision. Cinder, her mother, is awakened by the love in the air, so she follows Ember back to the hotel where Wade stays. Wade invites her back to his place to meet his family while they wait for Gale's call together. Cinder finds Ember going into the hotel, but she can't see who or what the guy looks like. She tried to follow her into the hotel, but the guard wouldn't let her through. Ember meets Wade's family, who tells her how Wade got trapped in a sponge when he was a kid. They start talking about how art runs in the family. When Alan accidentally breaks a pitcher, Ember quickly fixes it for him right in front of their eyes. Everyone was shocked when Wade's mom claimed that she had a talent. Wade suddenly suggests they play the crying game after dinner. When Ember and Wade were up, she claimed she had the advantage as she had never cried. After several failed attempts, Wade started talking about his feelings for her and how all he wants is to be near her. Ember tears up after realizing that they can never be together despite their feelings for each other. Later, they received a call from Gale, who was thrilled to find out that they had used tempered glass to seal the hole, which cleared the shop of any prior violations. After dinner, Wade's mom tells Ember that she reached out to her friend at the glassmaking company and said they need an intern. Ember walks out furious, to which Wade wonders why she's mad. She explains that she was frustrated when she realized she didn't want to run the shop. It was ironic how growing up she tried to take over the shop and even pray to the blue flame. She later realized that regardless of what she wanted, it didn't matter because sacrificing her dreams was the only way to repay her parents' sacrifice. Out of nowhere, Ember's mom catches up to them and is furious after discovering that Ember has been seeing a water guy. Ember tries to explain that Wade is just a friend, but Cinder insists she can smell the love on them. She drags them both inside to do a compatibility reading. When Wade cannot ignite the sparkler by himself, he stands before Ember to ignite it like a magnifying glass. As the smoke rises, it spins around each other, suggesting they are compatible. As Cinder's about to tell them the results, Bernie shows up and they both run out to meet him while pushing Wade outside the shop. Bernie says that although he was supposed to tell them tomorrow, he was just too excited that he had to say it now. He announces that he will be retiring in two days and will have Ember take over the shop, showing them the new sign that says Ember's Fireplace. Bernie tells them that when he and her mother left Fireland, he gave his father the big bow. He explains that it is the highest form of respect one can give. Unfortunately, his father did not return the bow, suggesting that he does not approve of him or his decision. Bernie claims that despite losing his family, he still believes he made the right choice. They will unveil the new sign at the grand reopening to announce his retirement. 
After hearing what her parents endured, Ember felt she could not hurt her father's feelings. She visits Wade the next day to break it off with him. Wade asks Ember if he can show her something. They later arrive at Garden Central Station, where Gale awaits them. Wade offers Ember the chance to see Vivisteria with Gale's help, who will create an air bubble long enough for her to see it up close and personal. They later find the Vivisteria tree where the flowers bloomed when they shone in Ember's light. She was thrilled until they realized the bubble quickly ran out of air, so Wade rushed towards the exit. After the thrilling near-death experience, Wade is so moved that he suggests touching. Ember's against it, fearing what could happen to them both. Wade claims it's worth the risk, so they would know if they were ever meant to be. Although hesitant, Ember agreed and tried holding hands. When nothing happened, they jumped into each other's arms and danced under the moonlight. Suddenly, Ember gets flashes of her father. Ember walks away, claiming she needs to return to her life with the shop where she belongs. Wade tries to reason with her about how she must talk to her father about pursuing her dreams. Ember gets furious, telling him not to judge her as he doesn't know how it feels to have parents who gave up everything for her. The next day, everyone gathers in front of the shop to celebrate the grand reopening. Bernie stands on the platform and announces his retirement. He then bequeaths the blue flame to Ember as a sign that he has handed over the shop to her. Out of nowhere, Wade shows up to crash the party. He explains that there are a million reasons why they will not work, but despite that, there is one big reason that they can. They touched, and nothing terrible happened. When Wade professes his love in front of everyone, Ember insists she doesn't love him back, and tells him to leave. After the big revelation, Bernie claims she broke his trust and rescinds his retirement. Ember runs away to the city to think. She tries to forget her feelings for Wade, but she cannot. Later, she witnesses the Watergate breakdown and water gushes towards the canal. Ember quickly rides back to Firetown, fearing for her parents' lives. Meanwhile, Wade was about to board a plane to forget Ember when he noticed something was amiss in Firetown. Ember warned people and her parents of the flash flood and climbed the safety just in time. Ember quickly dashes towards the shop to save the blue flame. The door was about to break down when Wade came to help. Ember tried to save the blue flame by making a glass wall around it. When the glass couldn't keep the water out, Wade placed the blue flame in a lantern just before they got trapped behind a room. They tried climbing up to the roof, but it caved in. Ember tries to break down the wall, but Wade stops her, claiming that the water could come in and snuff her out. Ember breaks down, not knowing what to do, but Wade comforts her, claiming he doesn't regret it. Fearing that she will lose him, Ember admits that she loves him, and the two embrace. Bernie and the others found a worn-down Ember trapped in the room. She claims that Wade is gone. She finally gets the courage to tell her father she doesn't want to take over the shop. Bernie confronts Ember, claiming that the shop was never the dream, but that she was, as they hugged it out. They suddenly heard Wade crying. Ember realizes Wade is still alive and tries to make him cry so he will reform again. Eventually, Wade returns to normal and Ember runs to his embrace and they kiss. Several months later, Firetown has recovered from the damage. The fireplace is open again. This time, it welcomes all elementals. Gale bumps into Fern, who also discovers he's a Windbreakers fan and shows interest in him. Bernie has their regular couple take over the shop while he and Cinder enjoy retirement. Wade's mom and Ember's parents give a proper send-off to Wade and Ember, who will have her internship at the glass-making company. Before she boarded the boat, Ember gave her father the great bow, to which he returned the same. Ember then boarded the ship with Wade, ready for their next adventure. The End Thank you so much for watching, check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon to be notified about our latest videos. We'll see you next time.